welcome to your interview. I'm sorry that we had to change the venue on such short notice, but you understand, don't you? You see, it's just, uh, that's kind of the nature of trucking in general. You get called to do a certain job, so just try to ignore the fact that I am clearly busy and clearly not in the mood for an interview. Um, sorry. My name is Trevor. And, uh, I'll be conducting your interview today, obviously. So, just sit tight. I'm sorry that you have to be a passenger. Uh, but, trust me, I prefer to be a lone wolf, too. So today I have a job, and I'm just gonna get it done. And at the same time, I guess somehow I'm gonna have to fit in questions. The questions that I need to ask. Okay. So, I guess we have a pretty big load today, which is no big deal, it's, you know, it's all in a day's work. I do this all the time. So, we're just gonna get this trailer, or actually, my bad. We're gonna get this piece of equipment. I don't even know what you call it. An excavator, I guess. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start this trip, and we're gonna start this interview. So, let's just start with the basics. They never brief me on any of this stuff. So, can you tell me your name? Okay. Um, can you tell me your age? Right. All right, and then I actually didn't get a chance to read your resume. I'm sure it's thrilling stuff. So can you tell me uh, your past, let's just go with the past three jobs that you've had, and I don't care about part-time, only mention them if they're full-time jobs. Yep, you heard right. Past three full-time jobs. I need to know your experience. Hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. I, I would not have thought that you were the type. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Well... Allow me to interject a comment here, but it's not for me to judge. But it's not every day we see someone who is a janitor step up and get their CDL. Nothing against janitors, nothing against you. It's just rare, okay? Um, so what, what made you interested in trucking to begin with? Oh, this jerk. Come on, buddy. Go. Holy cow, people really don't know how to drive on this road. Simplest thing. Um, sorry. I'm sorry. What, uh, what was your answer to that question? Okay. So, you know when people say there are no such thing as wrong answers to open-ended questions well that that has to be the exception 
I'm gonna need you to give me a better reason why you wanted to be a trucker. So try again. No, try again. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I don't even care if you make up an answer. Everyone knows. People make up answers all the time on interviews. That's practically how I got this job in the first place. It's just an industry secret. So, so come on, why? Why do you want to be a trucker? I need it to be a good answer. You know, they evaluate me on these interviews too. Okay, well, I'll accept it. I mean, I like trucks too, but, <laughs> you know, you don't see me throwing a parade. All right, um, okay, uh, is this your first time driving a commercial vehicle? Obviously, the answer is no, because you gotta, you know, in order to get your CDL, you have to actually drive a truck. You actually have to pass the test. And no, I'm not talking about truck simulators. Those are lame, okay? This is the real deal. Alright, so... My impression of you so far... You were a janitor. Okay, you, you cleaned floors. And now suddenly you just... What, you wanna be a trucker? Do you know how important your job is? You have to deliver stuff to people. And you have to do it in a timely fashion. I don't know if you understand how rigorous this type of job is gonna be. I don't know if you have what it takes just by looking at you. You know, you, you, I mean, I, I took a peek and I don't know, there's some type of like, I don't know, there's some aura about you that, I, that just makes me think you're gonna slack off. But that's just my opinion. It, it, I shouldn't say that, right? Yeah, I should. I often have trouble keeping those thoughts to myself, so whatever. Anyway, oh, we're behind another slow truck. This sucks, man. Okay, um, or where was I? I kind of lost track of the questions. So, what would you say your biggest strength is? Yes, I know it's a common thing hear it in a lot of interviews, but I don't care. These are questions that I don't make up. These are questions that I am told to ask. So please, I want to get this interview done so I can focus on the road a little bit better, okay? We got, we have a long trip ahead of us, and I'll probably drop you off as soon as this interview's done, because uh, you can always call a taxi or something. All right. Come on. Look. Okay, let me let me just let me level with you. Okay. If you have to think about the answer, that means you haven't thought about the question. And if you haven't thought about the question, you haven't prepared for this interview, which my friend is a mark against you. Okay? If I'm gonna go through the trouble of conducting an interview. I want to conduct an interview with a candidate who actually took the time to prepare. Now I feel, I feel like I'm wasting my time and because I'm actually working and you're not, by definition that means my time is more valuable than yours. I mean, if you want, you can go back to cleaning floors. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. It seemed to suit you, you know? It's easy, you know? It's a brainless job. This is different. This requires thinking outside the box. This requires actual skill, okay? Yeah. 
Uh, sorry, I tend to go on rants. You know what? Um, I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna try to put on my nice, uh, you know, attitude. Uh, you know, whenever there's a situation of good cop, bad cop, I'm typically the bad cop, but I'm gonna try to be the good cop. I'm gonna try to support you, right? Because you probably grew up in the generation where you get a participation trophy for simply existing, so... Yeah, I know your type. Um, alright, sorry. Sorry. Let me, let me take a sip of my coffee. Oh, I'm sorry, was that rude? Well, you know what? I got a drink, too. Okay. a cold my voice my voice is going out so um i'm gonna whisper okay just for a little bit all right all right you're really gonna have to pay attention because i'm not gonna be as loud all right i know it's beautiful scenery but please pay attention to this So what is your biggest weakness? I want to know. Come on, you shouldn't have to think about this. I mean, if you need help with this question, I can certainly help you. There's a lot about you that's weak. You don't act like a trucker. You come in here not dressed for the part. And you have a very frail type of uncertain voice, which tells me you don't have much experience with interviews. And not only that, but you have to think about these questions. You should have an answer ready to go. You should be aware of your weaknesses at all times. You should be aware at all times that you are a flawed human. Uh, it's, it's healthy to continually focus on your flaws and weaknesses. And you have to admit those types of things to yourself. You gotta be humble if you wanna make it anywhere in this business. Until you get to my level. I've been driving trucks for like two weeks. With Trevor Truck Transportation. And I've been here long enough to know how everything works. I've been here long enough. I've paid my dues to society. And I've had to deal with, you know, people looking down on me oh that's right yeah just because I'm an established trucker doesn't mean that people don't look down on me have you ever run into one of those people who play train simulator games they look down on us truckers and I started a fan war on reddit and I won look here's the thing I am getting increasingly bored I'm not gonna lie, this interview is, it's just, it's gone flat, okay, I'm flatlining. One of the things they don't talk about, but it's implied, is in order to get a job like this, a job where you transport people to their destinations, while also transporting loads to destinations. You gotta have a little bit of a personality. And, uh, you know, I, I've, I've been inside sensory deprivation tanks with more personality than you. And that's, you know, that's, that's just me being kind and being honest with you, okay? You gotta work on that. You gotta, gotta have an interest, a hobby. Um, anyway. 
You gotta grow yourself as a person if you wanna be this type of trucker. You understand, right? I'm not being mean or rude or anything like that. It's just the truth. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, tell me a little bit about your education. Okay, look, I, I, I'm not asking you to discover the lost city of Atlantis. I'm, I'm telling, I'm asking you, tell me your education. It's so easy. You went to high school, right? Okay, that's, that wasn't so hard, right? High school is probably where you stopped. Oh no, you went to college. Oh really? That's the funniest thing you've said all interview. Okay. So, uh, this isn't actually part of the questions, but what in the hell did you study in college? <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, sorry. Sorry. Let me, uh, let me take a sip of coffee. Wow. Yeah, I guess that didn't work out. I mean, uh, I'm not making fun of you. It's just to think that you did that in college. Okay. All right. So, I need to know, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Mm, okay. I guess that's fair. A vague question deserves a vague answer. Still, doesn't mean I have to like it. Alright. Okay, and if hired, would you be willing to work holidays? Okay. Hmm. Okay, so you, you wouldn't be willing to work on holidays. I mean, you know, God forbid you miss a Thanksgiving. I mean, come on. You gotta have dedication, right? You gotta have dedication to the job and the fact that you are not willing to work on holidays. I don't know, something about it rubs me the wrong way, okay? I've had to work on Earth Day. I've had to work on International Ice Cream Appreciation Day. I've had to work on Groundhog Day. Uh, I also had to work on my, uh, like, you know how, like, most people try to get vacation days in the days following Christmas? Well, the only holiday I've ever had off was Christmas Day. And that was like two years ago. And then the days following, I had to work. You don't know how much I wanted to just get on the couch and watch a movie with hot chocolate and marshmallows in the hot chocolate. You don't know how much I just wanted to turn into a lazy turd and do nothing. But you know what? I'm here because I decided to dedicate myself to the job would you do the same would you do the same and I think the answer is pretty pretty clear yeah okay look I'm tired so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ask one more question and that's it I know I know they're not going to like this, but I'm just going to cut this interview short because I think the answer is pretty clear. I think you're going to be holding a mop in no time at all, my friend. But I'll ask this question because I guess I'll humor you, okay? All right. On a scale of one to five, how would you rate your interviewer? Why is it taking you so long to answer such a simple question on a scale of one to five? Okay, you know what? Hold that thought. It doesn't matter. 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna write down five when I get the chance. So uh there's a dinosaur on top of that gas station. So anyway, um pretty soon here I'm gonna I'm gonna drop you off. And uh you can just call a, a taxi or something. Uh because like I said before, I'm a lone wolf and this interview this interview was so dull that I, I think I might actually fall asleep, so sorry about that. Uh, yeah, your chances of getting this job are pretty low, I'm not gonna lie, and I usually don't lie. I like to be straight with people and just tell them the truth up front, even if it does hurt their feelings a little bit, so sorry about that. So yeah, um, let's just... Let's just, uh, let's just be quiet and sit in awkward silence until we get to the drop-off point. Anyway, um, yeah, 